My name is Christopher Parker. I'm Dover's Assistant City Manager. I oversee planning and strategic initiatives for the City of Dover, and I'd like to welcome you to the Capital Improvements Program. The Capital Improvements Program is a vital part of our community's long-range planning process. This six-year plan allows the City to identify the needs of the community and to prepare a long-term funding strategy to meet those needs. We identify our needs through the community's master plan, which is a document we update every five to ten years. The master plan offers guidelines for growth and development throughout the city. It has chapters on transportation, recreation, community facilities, and utilities. What follows will be an overview of projects that department heads have put together and proposed for year one of our program. These overviews will give you a cost, a funding source, and a general description of each project. You will notice a variety of funding sources are used for projects. Debt financing, reserve account financing, grant funding, Special revenues, as well as funding through the operating budget, are all utilized for various projects. As we put together this program, we have reviewed our resources and allocated them appropriately. As in years past, we have developed a plan where new debt service is less than the amount being retired by the city. To accomplish this, we have moved some projects around and reduced the scope of others. We have also continued to rely on capital reserves, as well as for paying for projects through the operating budget wherever possible. You might ask yourself, how does a project get on the Capital Improvements Program? A project must have a three-year lifespan or longer and an aggregate cost of $25,000 or more. It must also meet one of four criteria. It must promote the health and safety of employees or residents, protect previous capital investments, offer a way to save money on providing service, or increase the efficiency of providing that service. We hope you find this video informative and useful. Consistent with the financial policy adopted by the City Council, this project provides annual funding for the existing Cemetery Capital Reserve Fund out of the General Fund. In future years, this fund will be used to fund cemetery improvements including landscaping and building construction. This project would provide bus shelters to protect from the weather and provide a place to sit and could create a more attractive environment and increase the use of public transit systems. This project would be funded through the Community Development Block Grant Program, monies which the City receives annually from the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Well, the vehicle re replacement program, as it's constituted today, has been in effect for several years. And it incorporates buying four new line cruises one year, five new line cruises the next year. And when those cruises come offline, they're sold at auction and the funds from that auction uh, used to purchase smaller, fuel-efficient vehicles for not only the police department, but for other city departments. So really, it's a citywide uh, vehicle replacement program. The city has a scheduled replacement program for ambulances. In 2019, we would replace a 2008 ambulance with 122,000 miles. The city has four years on a front line and four years on a back line per ambulance, keeping them for approximately eight years apiece. This is a capital reserve funded project. It's part of our scheduled replacement of command and staff vehicles for the fire department. In 2019, we would replace a 2004 forestry vehicle, which has 100,000 miles on it. This is a capital reserve funded project. This project will fix corrosion on the squad vehicle, which carries the jaws of life and other technical rescue equipment. With this fix, the service life of the vehicle will be extended in approximately 10 years, giving a total of 30 years of life to the vehicle when it reaches 63,000 miles in 2028. This project is funded by the Capital Reserve. Bunker gear is the head-to-toe firefighter gear which provides protection for our personnel during all types of emergencies. This protective gear allows firefighters to enter inhospitable atmospheres and fire situations to rescue victims. The gear is used on a regular basis and is essential to emergency response. The expected life of the gear is six years. If replaced as outlined, this unit would be over 10 years old. This is a Capital Reserve funded project. On an 
annual basis, the city uses its pavement management system to identify general road and sidewalk replacements that need to be done to help maintain the current level of street and sidewalk repair we have in the city. This prevents needing debt servicing to fund total replacement and reconstruction of streets. This is funded through the operating budget. This project will include the design of, for drainage, sidewalks, and street reconstruction, as well as water work on this older section of Dover. The design of the project will take into account elements as outlined in the city's complete streets and traffic calming policy, which include street trees, safe sidewalks, as well as pedestrian-friendly crossings at the intersections. As part of the redevelopment of 104 to 124 Washington Street, the right-of-way around Washington Street and Chestnut Street will be enlarged to allow for a complete four-way intersection at Chestnut and Washington. This project implements that design and will be both debt financed as well as grant financed through the developer. This project will repair the 40-year-old retaining wall adjacent to the Central Falls Dam in the Fish Letter located off Central Avenue downtown. Wear and tear as well as stress on the wall have created a buckling that needs to be addressed. This project will be debt financed as well as financed through contributions from abutting property owners and other responsible parties. This project will complete the trail from Central Avenue down Durham Road to Daily Drive, constructing a trail between the middle school and high school across Bellamy Road and through Bellamy Park. Finally, the trail will reach Knox March Road. This project is grant funded and capital reserve funded. Recreation shuttle bus is what we call this, and it has been used for uh, 10 years now as the city had it. We, we first of all received it secondhand through McIntosh College back when the college closed, and it had already been used very heavily by the college, so it wasn't a new vehicle. And we've used it primarily as a senior center transportation vehicle for day trips, but that's just the foundation. Most of what we also use it for is other city-related travel uh, for staff training, for council tours, for economic development tours. Uh, it's also used as a, a uh, fire department a cooling shelter during a fire event. Uh, it's also a transportation for, in again, case of emergencies, to move people to the sh uh, to a shelter or to a, a safer place. So this is really a, the resource vehicle for the city of Dover. The school department will continue to use operating budget funds to put money into capital reserve accounts. These accounts, similar to ones used by the city, will ensure adequate funding is available for curriculum, facilities, and information technology upgrades without having large increases in tax rates. This project will use reserve funding for ongoing projects upgrading curriculum needs to ensure that students have the tools and resources necessary to have a 21st century education. Maintenance of facilities and schools is imperative to the Dover School District operations. Renovation is needed for such items as HVAC, plumbing and electrical upgrades, window replacements, cafeteria and kitchen maintenance, bathroom replacement and expansion, and remodeling or enlarging of classrooms to meet New Hampshire state standards. This project will be funded through the operating budget. This ongoing reserve and operating budget funded project will make infrastructure improvements to the existing IT network. This work includes replacement of servers, routers, and switches, as well as the creation of an annual hardware replacement program where devices will be replaced every five years.
This project will install electric key card and closed circuit television systems in all large municipal facilities. This will extend access control and security system technology currently employed at the Dover Police Station. In FY19, City Hall will be improved. Special revenue through the DoverNet funding will fund this project. This project continues improvements to the Varney Brook pump station, the city's third largest pump station. The plant had to be shut down and flow had to be bypassed due to equipment failure recently, and the station handles all flow from the southern end of the city and pumps directly to the wastewater treatment plant. This project is debt financed. We hope these videos have been useful, informative, and educational as you continue to review the Capital Improvements Program. You'll notice there are over 100 projects over the six-year timeline. Some of the projects include renovation of municipal buildings and schools, reconstructing streets, and improvements to parks and playgrounds throughout the city. As you review the list, you'll note that projects are listed chronologically, so that new projects fall at the bottom of the list in each category. The Capital Improvements Program relies on public participation for its adoption. The first step in this process is a joint workshop between the Planning Board and the City Council. In the following weeks, the Planning Board and the City Council will each hold public hearings and deliberations on the Capital Improvements Program. We encourage the public to be involved and participate in this process. We have created a web page devoted to the Capital Improvements Program. This page contains more information about each project, as well as a citywide map with locations of projects on it. If you have any questions about the Capital Improvements Program, we encourage you to reach out to the City Manager or staff so we can assist you in your review. Thank you.